Hey, I'm Jeff. And I'm Phil, and we're the Cocktail Dudes. Today we're making the Millionaire's Irish Coffee. Very sophisticated. Yes. This is one of those <laughs> you have to drink with your pinky in the air, right? No. <laughs> millionaires don't drink with pinkies in the air. They've got somebody holding the glass to their mouth. <laughs> right. That's what I would do if I was a millionaire. And then, you know, the napkin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right after. <laughs> they probably don't use their shirt sleeves like we do. No. So this is our souped-up version of the classic Irish coffee mm -hmm. invented in the 40s. Yep. And we're using just kind of premium ingredients pretty much here, right? Definitely. We're using the Jameson Rarest Vintage Reserve Whiskey. Oh, very good. Which is delicious. Mm -hmm. Very complex. Yes. Mm -hmm. You could use a Middleton Very Rare or some other top-shelf Irish whiskey, mm -hmm. right? Like top, top shelf. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you gotta, can you get the key, please? Like golden staircase. Yeah. To get to the top, top shelf. <laughs> and we're using cream mm -hmm. that we have flown in twice a week from Michigan, of all places, right? Right. We're, kind of, we're a connoisseur of certain things, one of them being cream. Mm -hmm. And it's embarrassing to say that here we are in the dairy state, right? Right. I we're, mean, we have a cow on the back of our corridor for crying out loud. And we're, and we're getting it from yeah. across the lake. We've tried. <laughs> we have tried cream from everywhere yep. in the vicinity. And the best one comes from this little hillhoff. I think they have 12 cows. And if we ever become popular, they're probably going to hate us because they're going to start getting calls from, like, by Donald <laughs> Trump and the like. This is the best cream. It's best yeah. in spring and summer when they're eating the grass. Mm -hmm. But even year-round. It's just something about it that is phenomenal. So, of course, millionaires would have that. Mm -hmm. And, of course, we're having, as our coffee, civet poop coffee. Right? Right. Coffee that's been ingested by these weaselly critters. And in South out. America and pooped out. And if someone has to go collect it, that would be the, <laughs> like the worst job. Right. And then they get suckers up in the States to buy it. <laughs> yep. So that's what we have here. Mm -hmm. And we have the, the little certificate that tells us the date it was roasted and the date it was harvested, right? <laughs> Which there's some question yeah. about that. I don't know if harvested means when it was actually pooped out. Or when it was picked up. Yeah. So <laughs> we're not quite sure about that. <laughs> But that takes a little steeping, so we're going to do that now, right? Mm -hmm. We have our water here just off the boil. This is the first time we've ever, ever had the civet poop coffee. It, it is. So it's going to... We may imagine. look like millionaires, but... Yeah, no. <laughs> not even close. It smells like coffee, not like poop. That's always oh, a good sign. Yeah, that smells very good. So we're going to do four rounded tablespoons here in our small little French press. I don't know, that's probably a hundred dollars for it. <laughs> Hope Jackie's not listening. <laughs> Wait till she gets the visa bill, right? All right. <laughs> There's enough in there for a few more of these. All right. Now, the civet is like, is like a weasel, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the theory behind this coffee is that when they go through its di it's their digestive system, it somehow digests away the bitter parts or something. I don't know exactly what the deal is. I think it uh, lessens the acidity. Yeah, and like the bitterness to it. All right. But we're not exactly sure how it works. <laughs> yes. But we, we'll, just, we just know it makes it taste better. Yeah, and this is what... If you were in the millionaire's pantry, you'd probably have boxes of this stuff, right? right? Exactly. Yeah, I don't think yep. so. All right. We're going to let this sit for um, another three and a half minutes. And we'll come back and finish up this cocktail shortly. Mm -hmm. All right, we're back. We have about a minute left for the coffee. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start by uh, adding our whiskey and our sweetener to the glass. We're mm -hmm. using this Riedel uh, Venom Port glass. Perfect glass for this cocktail. We want one and a half ounces of whiskey. Pour it right in there. And then one half ounce of liquid sugar in the raw. Mm -hmm. You can use sugar cubes, and in which case you'd want one to one and a half sugar cubes. The benefit of this is that you don't have to stir except for like five seconds. Exactly. Whereas if you're using a sugar cube, it's about 15 seconds or 20 seconds. Even then it doesn't always fully dissolve. Yeah. There we go. It never does. 
All right, so now our civet poop coffee is all ready to go. We're gonna pour that right in there and we're looking for about four ounces. We know the about the size of this glass and we're just gonna pour that up to about three quarters of an inch. Leave a little bit at the top. Perfect. There we go. Nice. All right, and then we're having our, oh yeah, stir that a little bit. Yeah, I couldn't get that distributed a little bit better. We're having our Hillhoff cream. Made by the finest cows in Michigan. I don't know. I've never met the cows. <laughs> the cream is darn good. We're going to whisk this for about 15 seconds with our air latte. You want to whisk it until it's doubled in size, right? Mm -hmm. You want to get air in there so that it's light enough to float on top of the coffee, yet... Um, drinkable. Drinkable, yeah. You need it drinkable. You can't... It, a lot of the times, the worst thing you can do to an Irish coffee is have cream on top that you have to eat your way to the yeah. coffee. You want something where you get the, the sweet creaminess, the cool, then almost instantly followed by the warm booziness of the coffee. Yeah, and in this case, in this case the warm booziness with little poop overtones. <laughs> Don't you think? I, I can't imagine that good coffee would have any kind of poop flavor to it. We shall soon see, won't we? All right. Pour the cream right on the top. And then we're gonna dust the top with a little bit of nutmeg. And though we looked far and wide, we couldn't find a nutmeg that had been through anyone's digestive tract. <laughs> so this is just your ordinary nutmeg. And there you have your millionaire's Irish coffee. Enjoy. Cheers. <laughs>